Oh. <laughs> now, this is a lot of work coming out of a car. <laughs> Ooh. Impressive. Now, this is a Chevy Corvette. And on first impressions, you've seen this car the first time, you're going to actually think this is a Ferrari. <laughs> no, it's an American sports car. Take a look at the design. You would know that the 67 years history of this car produces a very, very sweet and fantastic sight to behold. Let's take a look. Now, this design is really, really breathtaking. I know your bloods might be pumping right now, like, Go on to the review, show us around this car, but don't worry, just chill, take a look, take a chill pill. I'm going to take you on a review of this car, an in-depth review on everything the interior and the exterior. But before we get to that, this is Getty Cars. We make car reviews of really, really cool cars and all the car contents for right here on the YouTube channel. So consider subscribing to this channel and click that bell icon to turn on post notifications. So when we drop a new video just like this one, you have to notify you first, like you in particular first. So let's get to the video. So this white Corvette Stingray I got here with me really really pops in its color. It looks really aggressive and it looks like a fighter jet that is ready to go for war at any time. But so many complaints have come from car enthusiasts saying that this automatic stick shift is just a bad decision on a sports car that a manual stick shift will actually go better. But with this rear wheel drive, an 8 speed automatic transmission, and a Z mode that allows you to customize the driver settings to your preference, let's find out if the sports car is a good bargain for your money. So before I take you on the, the design of this car, the exterior. Let, let me take you on a little bit of history. So come right here. You see this this badge? So this is the Corvette badge. And in 1953, when General Motors executives were trying to find a name for the new Chevrolet sports car, they were in a meeting and one person came up with the name Corvette. And Corvette was after uh, a fighter jet that was really maneuverable. And like they, they went with the name and they gave this name Corvette. And since then, since 1953, six, seven years ago, this car has answered to the name Corvette. Although the, the, the um, models have been changing, like it has from the C1 to the C2 to the C3, up down to the C8, which I have right here with me. And if you look at this car, it looks more from the front, it looks like the Acura NSX. And I think that car looks beautiful also. They both look really, really good. And this is like the most option-rich Corvette you can get right now in the 67 years history of this car. When I mean option rich, I mean you can get any color out of the 12 paint color jobs you can get from Corvette. You can get contrasting seat belts, uh, different carbon colors, uh, rich, op rich options of colors. You can get carbon fiber trims, Alcantara headlining, and a lot of options you can choose from. You can get, um, you even have the Z51 trim, Z51 package, which is the sports package that gives you all weather tires and some other features to make the car go fast and puts a lot more horsepower than the normal trim of this car. So if we take a look at the design, this design looks splorific. I don't even know if that's a word, but it looks splorific. But let me start from the back. Now see this here, so this is the Corvette Stingray C8. And if you can see, there's a badge here that shows a Stingray. If you don't know what a Stingray is, a Stingray is a fish in the shark family. Um, the cartilaginous, cartilaginous, did I get that right? Fishes. Don't mind me, it's the longer in biology. So you have the badge here of the fish. Down here you have Corvettes, boldly written. And I love the different color of spoiler you get here. You have a white colored body with a different black colored spoiler that looks really, really cool. You have reverse lights right here, or reverse camera. You have another reverse camera when you put the roof up. And coming to that, talking about the roof, this is the only Corvette, this is the first Corvette with a retractable roof in the 67 years history. Impressive for a 2020 car. Come this way, you get our corn exhaust. These tips, come see, come see this. These air inlets here are actually very, very real. You have air inlets here also that are very real. So I guess the German engineers should really learn from the Americans because I know Mercedes makes a lot of fake air inlets just for design purposes. And yeah, um, 
exhaust pipes, the tips aren't actually real. We just see the exhaust pipe inside. So I guess the Germans should take their notes down right now and start learning from the Americans. You have cool looking LED tail lights. They look really, really aggressive. And it reminds me of Optimus Prime. I don't know if you've watched the Transformers, but Optimus Prime is that, that, that their boss. It looks like a Transformer right here. And the design looks really appealing. Come take a look at this key. So right now I'm with the key to this car and the key actually feels premium to hold. So with this, I can start up this car. It has a remote start button right here on the key. You also have buttons to open the trunk, to open the trunk and to, um, to put it on the roof. So let me show you what this V8 engine sounds like. Just listen. And hold. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that loud. Wow. And this is actually a naturally accelerated V8 engine. It is not turbocharged. And it actually sounds better than some turbocharged German engines. And this engine is actually right here. So this is a mid-engine sports car. And the engine is not at the back. The engine is not at the front. Is right here under where the roof compartment is. Come to this. Come to this. Ah, uh, Frank! So the last time I saw a Frank was in a Model X review. And this is not an electric car, but you get a Frank because, like I said earlier, you get a uh, mid engine. So this is a mid engine sports car. So the engine is right there in the middle. And since there is no engine here, they obviously give you a space to put your load. And uh, I think the space is quite enough. Come see. This will be able to fit one bag. And you can put like six of my bags right here. You have a latch here to unlock the boots. Although I don't think there's anyone that can fit inside here. So I feel that latch is kind of useless, but it still has to be there. Then you get a 12 volt socket right here. You also get this. Hmm. Maybe this is to celebrate when you get your Corvette. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> they would have put a wine here. You don't get a wine with the car. So I think there's quite enough space here. And the only traditional thing you get on a car is this. You get a washer fluid part right here and so you have some hooks to hold your grocery bags you put a grocery bag here there's also lights here so at night you can see your boot space your front space to get your things out so let me show you the back come to the back you also get quite enough space right here at the trunk why are there wines everywhere <laughs> so this it's quite enough space for the trunk and it's kind of small compared to other cars because of the engine right here but the front complements the space here so i guess that's okay and you also get some lights here and some hooks to hold down your grocery bags and i guess i sparkled all right here i don't think you can fit anyone inside here nope but it should carry like two bags yeah some other models will come with the retractable roof so this is the convertible you just put up the you electrically bring down the roof but the other ones where you have to bring down the roof like this, you unlatch it and drop it here, it would eat into the space. So I think this is a better option and the convertible even looks better than the normal way. You also get a latch here and surprisingly, it has soft clothes. This is the first time I've seen soft clothes right at the trunk of a car. Now this is a Michelin all season performance tires and this is 19 inch alloy rims and a huge ventilated brakes with a huge brake caliper red corvette caliper right here and because this car is very fast it, you obviously need a very very huge brake to stop your car at instant when you need it you also get a huge inlet right here and this is actually real it's a real inlet and this takes air into the engine that's right here in the middle to open this car okay let me lock it first you there's a button here you just do this and at first, I thought it was going to go up like the McLaren, like come up like this, but no. <laughs> it opens the normal way. And I think it opens quite wide enough. And you can basically get into the car easily. What do you think? Then there's also blacked out parts right here. It's not a glass. Come, let me take them to the... Okay, before I get to the front, see? If you take a look at this side mirror right here, it also comes with blind spot assist and the blinkers right here. Although it doesn't come with cameras, no? So this side mirror is actually far out than the one right here on the driver's part. So if you just take, take a step back and look at it, you're going to see that this part comes out a little bit out than this. And I think it's because of the driver's visibility. So drivers can see the cars are coming right from his back. Come to the interior, the, the exterior of the front. Now, 
if you take if you take a look at the exterior here, it looks like the, the, the designers used a lot of rulers, used rulers in a lot of places. Because you can see you have creases right here, lines everywhere. And as all the lines come together right in front, it makes you look fast, even when it's not moving. <laughs> okay, so just as getting in, getting out of this car is a big deal and the stress getting into the car is the same thing because the chairs are a little bit on the low side and you have to stoop so so low for you to sit down in here so if you have back pain i advise you not to buy this car because you're gonna you're gonna suffer it in the long run so this door doesn't really feel hard to close and i like this display come see this i love this display this 3d display and this infotainment screen is a real bummer man like because it's in high definition so this interior is well, really, really busy, and it's well designed, and uh, it looks real, real fantastic. Also, it is like um, it was actually driver inspired, no, called driver personalized, and says that everything is facing you. You have an infotainment screen facing only drivers. You have a kind of wall that divides the center console on the driver's parts, and it leaves the passenger with nothing, and just the air vents and the glove box. You have Corvette logo right here. And this is 2020 Corvettes. This is the C8, yeah. So there's no much things um, things going on right here on driver's side, you're just here. And when you talk about the price, I'll tell you about the price later, but firstly, this is not as expensive as a Ferrari or the Lamborghinis, like other super sports car. But the build quality is still pretty, pretty on the high side, pretty decent. You have real good leather here, and you have the red stitching that complements this red spot seats that are really, really boasted in i also like the rest of the belts you also get stuff like that here stuff like that everywhere the stitching even goes right here on this part you have stuff like that right here on the armrests and you have the bose sound system and this is actually the most powerful the loudest sounding bose sound system on any car that's a very big privilege for the Corvette to have this. And it sounds really good, although I can just play music for you because of YouTube's copyright. <laughs> That's so sad. When I set up this car, everything comes to life. You get the infotainment screen, the real bright. You, this is also the, this is a rear view mirror, uh, the normal rear view mirror. But because of the poor visibility when I put up the roof, I won't be able to see the back real good. So this now comes with a rear view camera, which I'm gonna show you now. So let me start up the car and put the roof on. Now, put my legs on the brake, start stop button. Now it sounds incredible! Even from the driver's part here, it sounds really good as well you're being invited at the back. And it doesn't actually give you fake, because some, some, some cars will give you fake um, exhaust sounds right from the speakers. This doesn't do that. So this is real, good, perfect, original sounding V8 exhaust. Now let me put it up. So this is a button here. I have this button. Come see this button. I can pull this up, this one. For the roof and then this one is for, for this small window right here so let me just do that up and it just takes a little while and it happens take this let's give it a while no this is real real cool like the transformer i told you about at the back you have the window okay and that was pretty fast i think like five seconds or longer oh no i'm not supposed to do that <laughs> okay so this is the very mirror i told you about and for me to see the back well, because I have poor visibility right now, I'm just going to flip this here and it gives me a camera. Now, this is real cool because it looks even way better than the normal mirror. So, go take a look at the back. You don't see the camera right there. And I also have a button that I can use to control this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah. So, in case, I don't know why you're going to need that, but if you do need it, you can use it to bring it down. So, let me just take it back up. Now, I think this car actually feels better to be in it when you put up the roof. Yeah, it actually feels better. Now, these are the gear selectors. And this reverse reminds me of the Lamborghini Eros in the sense that you just have to just flip the clunk back and now it's activated at the rear view of the reverse. And when I turn this, it shows here the angle at which I'm turning so I don't get to bash another of my really expensive car even though I don't own a car. <laughs> So now, to put it on neutral, you just press on the button. To put it on drive, you also flip a clunk and now manual. And this opens up the exhaust. And when I do that, you're going to get uh, a, 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 a letters changing on the screen. Like R now, reverse, D for drive. And this to notify you on how 
Let me put it back on back because I'm not going to drive this car right now. So you see, you have this knob to control the car. You have a button here for traction control. And you have a lot of buttons right here. And I think this was just not necessary in the sense that I thought it would have buttons like heal descent, um, off road, and some other real buttons, real controls that this would be used for. But you're supposed only climate control buttons right here. What well, I can't put it on the infotainment screen. Why didn't they do that? And it would have been, even be easier to use because the infotainment screen is really close to the driver. So apart from the infotainment screen, you get a knob to control the volume and a physical home button that you can use. Yeah, and this knob is to control the volume. So I still like really left some um, physical buttons here. Then this is to control air vent. You pull it up, it shuts out the air vent. You put it down sideways to control the flow. Now this flat bottom stereo is controversial in the sense that some people do not like it, some people like it. They call it a steering wheel, but I don't I call it a steering square because it doesn't look like a wheel anymore. <laughs> now I might actually lose the steering wheel while turning fast because this is I'm not used to it. You also get paddle shifters that you can only use when it's a manual mode. Right here you have buttons to control um, the audio controls and the hands-free. Down here you have buttons for the volume and this infotainment screen um, this driver's display looks high definition and see it even shows you that you're driving the v8 it shows you your temperature your g-force um uh temperature um four gauge right now and audio now 98.5 fm also shows you one door is unlocked okay say so this now this is a visor and it can actually slide but it's practically useless because i still have a lot of space here for sun to still go into my eyes and distract me i won't pay a lot for this let me put that back you also get a reading light here cup holders here a copy space right here <laughs> money 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 okay you also get usb ports usb c no aux and there's a wireless charging pad right here and if you come to the speaker here, you're going to see corvette Stingray, and you also have the bow sound system right here at your back, so you place the sound directly into your ears and blast it off, and you drive and enjoy your car. Now, these four seats also come as ventilated and heated, and then we will load to the ground. You also get Stingray right here. You have buttons to release the trunk and the front, you have buttons to unlock and lock the doors, a lot of buttons to control the mirrors and the doors, and this is actually to unlock the door. You don't need to pull on the lever so when I close it up like this I just press the button and push it and it opens and it's quite easy to open now this cubby space doesn't really give you a lot of space to put, a, put, to put in bottles so the only thing that can practically enter here will be your keys and some other small stuff so although you put your keys here they might actually get missing so I advise you just put it inside so I guess that's all for the interior now I like this leather stitching that goes around I like this red stitching as you can see you also have this red right here and the Corvette right here. Let me see how this sounds. <laughs> let me know wake someone up in the neighborhood. So let me take it to the engine. Let me tell you about the engine and the kind of power that this car produces. But for the interior, I think it looks really fantastic. It looks really good. Perfect build quality. Corvette, I'll give you a thumbs up. Let's go to the engine. But before we get to the engine, let's take this car on a spin. This is a mid-engine car, sports car, as I told you initially. But right now, we cannot see the engine of the car because this is a convertible. And this part was actually screwed up because this is where the roof, this part of the roof is going to be. 
But on other models of this car, you're actually going to get uh, a detachable roof that you just unhook from here, unlatch and put on the boots. And here, you're going to get a glass or a carbon fiber kind of glass right here. So you can actually see through down to the V8 and you see the Corvette for boldly written on the engine. But this is different, so I can't actually see the engine. But I'm still going to tell you about it. So this is a 6.2 liter. That's a lot of displacement. 6.2 liter V8 naturally aspirated engine. And this puts out 495 horsepower and this car is so fast it takes you from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds that is really incredible obviously the sports car is going to take you fast so it lives up to his name to be a sports car i'm talking about price price this car okay i wouldn't tell you the amount in naira because of some other things will be included like the custom duty and shipping fee and everything but this car actually costs Seventy thousand dollars, seventy thousand US dollars. Now compare it to a sports car or a supercar like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. It's above two hundred thousand dollars. You see that you get a very very small amount. A very cheap, you get like up to seventy percent cut out from the amount and get a seventy thousand dollar sports car that takes you zero to sixty in two point nine seconds. That's really really impressive. You have to spend that much to get a fast car. So this American people too, the general motors talk about it well. Okay, how about we give people a sports car, people that can afford a Ferrari, people that cannot afford a Lamborghini that's too high up the range, this, and it lives up to the sports car performance name. So let me put down the roof back. Oh, I'm putting it back on. Okay, now this is real, real fast, and that's what I like about it. And let me stop the engine. So what do you think about this car? What do you think about the Corvette Stingray C8? I think it looks real beautiful. And I want to actually buy this car. If I wanted to go for a sports car. Because yes, first of all, it saved me a lot of money. And I'll get what I desire for in a sports car. So take a look at about Real, real nice. So I hope you enjoyed this review. So this is Giddy Cars. We do car reviews and other car contents. We read a cool car like this, we read a cool car last week, and we'll come up with real cool cars just for your viewers' sake. So do subscribe to this channel, turn on post notifications, so when we drop a new video like this, YouTube notifies you first, that we just drop on, go follow us on Instagram, and we'll drop all the car contents on there. And we'll see you next week.